Hello friends, my name is Muhammad Hamad and I am from Pakistan. I have recently passed the EJPT exam, so I thought to create a comprehensive video series about the EJPT. So this is first video in the series. In this video, I will explain everything you need to know about the EJPT exam. Like what this exam is, its comparison with the various other certification, the pricing you should keep in mind, and where you need to learn about this certification. So I'm not just a random guy throwing just random words on you. Everything I will say is based on my own experience. So uh, stay tuned with me for rest of the video and let's start the video. So I have attempted the exam on 28th of June and completed the exam on 29th of June. So it took me 30 hours to crack the exam and obviously uh, not straight 30 hours I the productive laptop time was only 11 hours to complete this exam so let's start with the video thank you very much so friends first of all these are my stats that I have purchased the exam voucher on January 11 2023 and they gives only six months to complete the exam so I started the exam on June 28 at 10 43 a.m and completed the exam on June 29 at 4.33 p.m. So it is total of 30 hours. Here you can see that I have been awarded with the following certificate of EJPT V2. Please keep in mind that this is the latest and dynamic version of EJPT exam offered by Elan Security. What is EJPT V2 certification? The eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester Certification is created by eLearn Security to test individuals' understanding of basic level penetration testing tasks and their ability to perform them. The EJPT goes beyond simple recall and challenges you with the real-world problems, simulating experiences you'll encounter in the field through interactive exam and browser-based lab environments. It is a hands-on, open book, entry-level certification that emphasizes practical skill usage. Who should attempt this certification? This certification is ideal for those new to cybersecurity or what I would call advanced beginners, individuals who already have experience in the IT but desire to transition their careers to pen testing. Additionally, it is suitable for people working in red team or blue team roles seeking to validate their current knowledge. If you fall into any of these categories, attempting this certification is highly recommended. How to prepare for EJPT certification? There are two options available for attempting the EJPT exam. The first option is without training, which means if you believe you possess the right amount of knowledge in penetration testing, you can simply buy the exam voucher and attempt the exam. The second option is to go through the training process where you need to purchase the training material. The training material is provided by INE and it will help you better prepare for the EJPT exam. So what is the cost of exam and the training material? Now about the pricing aspect, uh, again if you believe you already have experience in pen testing, you have the option to simply purchase the exam voucher and prepare on your own. However, in my case, I had experience but was uncertain if I am fully prepared to attempt the exam without signing up for the training material. So, I opted to purchase the fundamental annual package and I highly recommend it for the following reasons. So, EJPT exam voucher, if you buy separately, it will cost you 200 USD. And if you will purchase ICCA, which is INE Certified Cloud Associate Certification Voucher, it will cost you another 100 USD. If you go by fundamental monthly, in which you'll have to pay 39 USD per month, so it will be uh, the total of 468 USD. So which means 468 for this, 200 for this, and 100 for this. So it will be total of 768 USD. So instead of this, buy the fundamental annual package for only 299 and you are going to get everything that I have just mentioned for one year subscription free EJPT certification attempt and ICCA voucher is included in this fundamental annual package upon purchasing the package the EJPT certification exam become accessible in your account with a validity period of 180 days or six months you will be granted two attempts to pass the certification exam 
if you don't have 299 usd you can opt for 249 usd option which grants you access for three months and includes the ejpt exam voucher inside it however keep in the mind that with this option you will need to be quick in your learning process because it is only for three months and what can you expect in the training material of INE for the EJPT certification INE has developed a learning path called as penetration testing student specifically for EJPT this comprehensive learning path is led by two instructors Alexis Ahmed and Josh Mason the total length of the learning path is approximately 149 hours and which are divided into four sections and 12 courses. Within the material, you'll find 229 videos, 153 quizzes, and 121 labs. The, co the course material is thoughtfully designed to cover everything you need to know before attempting the EJPT exam. It provides a solid foundation to ensure your success in the certification process. Now, now let's talk about the modules of penetration testing student learning path. So as discussed, it has four modules and inside every modules, there are multiple courses. Okay, so let's start with it. The module one is assessment methodologies and you can see the courses which are part of the assessment methodology. This module tests students on various aspects of penetration testing, including identifying network endpoints, uncovering open ports and services on the target system and extracting companies information from publicly available sources. Students are evaluated on the ability to collect email addresses from public sources, recognize vulnerabilities in services, and assess the impact of identified vulnerabilities. To pass the EJPT, at least 90% of the assessment methodology's questions must be answered correctly. The next module is uh, Web Application Penetration Testing. This module focuses on enhancing students' knowledge of web application pen testing it covers crucial concepts such as identifying vulnerabilities in web application, discovering hidden files and directories, and exploiting weaknesses like cross-site scripting and SQL injection. Additionally, students are tested on their ability to perform web application reconnaissance, brute force login attacks, and to innovate HTTP methods on the website. To pass the EJPT, 60% of the web application pen testing questions must be answered correctly. Module 3 Host and Network Penetration Testing In this module, students are assessed on their proficiency in identifying vulnerabilities in target systems, adopting exploit ports, executing exploitation using Metasploit, and performing pivoting via port forwarding. Uh, please keep in mind that pivoting uh, has associated three to four questions to, so don't forget to be proficient in the pivoting section of this exam the module also include tasks involving brute force password attacks and hash cracking to pass the ejpt at least 70 percent of the host and network penetration testing questions must be answered correctly and the last module is host and network auditing Sorry, the sequence of the modules that I'm showing is not same like it is section number 2, it was section 3, it was 4 and it was first section. So let's talk about the section host and network auditing. In this, uh, students will be tested on their ability to enumerate network and service information from files on target, gather user account information on the target in addition to dumping user account hashes from target system. You must score at least 80% of the host and network auditing questions correctly on this exam to pass the EJPT. So which means you need 80% in this, 70% in this, section number 3, 60% in web application and 90% the most in assessment methodology and overall you need 70% marks to pass the uh, paper. And also keep one thing in mind that overall 70% is a requirement plus uh, you must pass in every individual module. What should you keep in mind before starting the exam? Once you have purchased the EJPT training material from the INE, the first step is to go through all the course content under the penetration testing student learning path. Once you have completed all the lab activities, 
and quizzes uh, included in the learning path you will receive uh, after that you will receive two important documents which are letter of engagement and lab guidelines we are going to review them shortly next familiarize yourself with the exam objectives domains and grading criteria uh, they also have mentioned on the website and we also have discussed that so as discussed earlier the overall score requirement is 70% and the score requirement for each individual section has already been mentioned exam structure pattern and difficulty level Now let's discuss the exam's difficulty level, time limit and number of questions. According to Elan Security, they classify the exam difficulty as no wise, but I personally disagree with this assessment. In reality, if you lack the necessary practical experience, passing the ex exam would be quite challenging for you. So as for the time limit, you have the straight 48 hours to complete the exam. Within this time frame, you must solve 35 questions. One advantage of this exam is that it is not proctored, meaning no one will monitor you through your camera or microphone. You can click on start exam button and proceed at your own pace. Given the exam's length, you don't have to sit at your laptop for entire 48 hours. Once you start the exam, the countdown begins and you're free to manage your time as you see fit. You can take breaks, eat, sleep, rest or even leave your location. Even if you shut down your laptop during the exam and restart it later, the timer will continue running, displaying the time remaining. Now let's discuss the important points and letter of engagement. So during the EJPT exam, you will be provided with a browser-based Kali Linux machine to perform all the required tasks. The connection to this in-browser Kali Linux system is facilitated through Apache Gokamol which grants access to most desktop functionality within your web browser. The Kali Linux machine will be connected to a DMZ network like this. You consider that this is a Kali Linux machine. It would be connected to a DMZ network, uh, which in turn is connected to the internal network. Your task in the pen testing scope will involve identifying all the machines in the DMZ network and finding the one finding the one which is in turn connected to the internal network. Additionally, you will have to conduct pen testing on the internal networks, internal networks by pivoting inside it. So this is an image representing the overall network structure, but obviously your network would be different in the exam. This is just to give you an idea that what to expect during the exam. The next thing is active internet connection on the Kali Linux machine. So the Kali Linux system provided during the exam will not have an active internet connection. However, you can use your host operating systems, a browser for research purposes. You are not required to download or install any custom scripts or tools onto the in-browser Kali Linux system. The Kali Linux machine comes fully equipped with everything you need to successfully complete the exam. The next thing is how to reset your lab. So there is an option to research your lab whenever required. Keep in mind that resetting your lab environment will delete all data stored on the in-browser based Kali Linux system. Therefore, ensure that you save your scan results, notes and any other data on your local system instead of Kali Linux system. Copy pasting text in Kali Linux machine. To copy paste the text in the Kali Linux machine, you can access the Gokamol menu which is hidden until explicitly shown. On a desktop, you can show this menu by Control alt shift The text area, this one, serves as an interface between the remote clipboard and the local clipboard. Text from local clipboard can be pasted into this text area and sending it to the clipboard of the remote desktop. Similarly, if you want to copy or cut text within the remote desktop, you will see that text within the text area here and you can manually copy it into the local clipboard if desired. But uh, in my time, I was facing a problem that I was able to copy the text from the machine to my system, but uh, I was not able to copy that from my machine to the Kali Linux system. I don't know if that is problem, but they mentioned that you can do this bi-directional. 
So why you should definitely attempt the EJPT? The first thing is practical focus. The EJPT certification stands out for its strong emphasis on practical skills and hands-on experience. Unlike some certifications that primarily focus on theoretical knowledge, the EJPT delves deep into the real-world scenarios challenging you to demonstrate your proficiency in ethical hacking and pen testing through practical assessments and labs. Affordability one notable advantage of the EJPT is its affordable pricing structure. It offers options like the fundamental annual package, bundling the exam voucher with additional training material at significantly lower cost compared to purchasing them separately, providing excellent value for your investment. Comprehensive Training The EJPT certification offers a comprehensive training program covering a wide range of topics, tools and techniques. The course material includes extensive video content, quizzes, hands-on lab, ensuring you gain a solid understanding of concepts and practical skills required in the field. Flexibility EJPT provides flexibility in terms of scheduling and access. After purchasing the exam voucher, you have a generous time frame to attempt the certification exam, which is 6 months. This gives you the freedom to plan your preparation and exam schedule according to your availability and pace. So this is a comparison of EJPT and CompTIA Pen Test Plus and this is official comparison uh, from the INE. Feel free to pause the video at this time to observe the differences between these two certifications. So let's compare the EJPT with CEH, OSCP and CISSP. Unlike the EJPT which places a strong emphasis on practical hands-on skill, the CEH exam focuses more on knowledge-based multiple choice questions. The OSCP certification provided by Offensive Security is renowned for its rigorous practical approach. Candidates are required to complete a 24 hours hands-on pen testing exam during which they must exploit various vulnerabilities in a controlled environment. While the EJPT is also practical oriented, it has a shorter exam duration and targets different skill levels, making it suitable stepping stone before attempting the OSCP. CISSP is globally recognized and covers various security domains including pen testing but also extends to security management and leadership roles. While the EJPT specifically focus on ethical hacking and pen testing, the CISSP provides a broader perspective on the information security. In conclusion, the EJPT certification offers a hands-on and practical approach to pen testing, making it an excellent choice for aspiring cybersecurity professionals. With its comprehensive training, flexible options, and industry recognition, the EJPT equips candidates with valuable skills for the real-world challenges. Whether you are starting your journey in cybersecurity or seeking to validate your expertise, the EJPT is a valuable stepping stone towards a successful career in ethical hacking and pen testing. Don't hesitate to embark on this rewarding certification journey and unlock new opportunities in the cybersecurity field. So in the next video, I will discuss my exam preparation journey. So you must watch this and I'm confident that it will be extremely helpful for your EJPD preparation. Uh, and do not forget to watch that video because of the reason. When I started preparing for it, I thought that I have plenty of time, like 6 months is a good amount of time if you want to prepare for the exam. But I procrastinated and uh, the journey is actually very interesting. So I will ask you to see next video for that. Thank you very much.